Hello everyone, my name is Diana David and I'm a movement storyteller. I'm an educator, I'm a TEDx speaker, I'm a mechanical engineer, I'm a clown, I'm a mime, a performing artist, a choreographer, a dancer, a freestyle, um, I'm a whole lot of things. And I couldn't have been this if it wasn't for My red ball. Hmm. This red ball has taken me all around the world and when you connect all the dots it becomes all the stories that I get to share in my TEDx talk, in my teachings, in my um, performances and basically my whole life. It has really allowed me to identify all the experiences that I had gone through to see myself as a different person. Kind of hard to understand, I know. You see, when I left engineering, I decided right then and there that I was going to take my life on. I was going to follow my dream. I was going to do the things that were so opposite to engineering that maybe it might make me or give me something different to experience. Well, in that, I discovered in clown school that contact juggling and dance was something that has never been seen before. Well, at least in my experience. It became something that made me unique. I soon became known as the girl with the red ball. I knew that this was something I wanted to expo explore, expand, find out what I could possibly do with this. I was fascinated with it. I woke up every morning figuring out how can I balance this ball in a different way and show it to someone. And I realized every time I showed up to the ball and found that sense of balance or connection to something as simple as a ball, I started to change my pattern of thinking. I started to move differently. I started to just breathe differently, be differently, live differently. From a red ball, people started to feel this. They started to stop in awe, thinking, is that magic? But truly, it was just something I was fascinated about, something I wanted to get really good at and find all the possible angles to how to express it. This led me to performing my first show that has now been touring for almost eight years consistently. And I used the red ball in it to tell the story of um, myself in high school having to show a Filipino immigrant around school. And it was through the two of them connecting through juggling a red ball and dancing that they started to create friendships. What's your red ball? What's that thing that you want to wake up to every morning and get excited about learning and turning and growing different ways of bringing an idea to life? What's that thing that moves you? That thing you want to contribute to the world no matter what it is? I know that this ball has transformed my life. It has helped me see life from a perspective of there is no difference between a performer on and off stage. Although I'm a performer on stage, I've learned that the tools and techniques to becoming a performer, to changing my character, expressing my essence in that moment, is all the same whether you're on or off stage. So how do we become the life performers that we've always wanted to be? Performing in a way that we are achieving our dreams every waking moment. We are present with our audience, our friends, our family members, our bosses, our co-workers, so that they feel that every time I take a step, I say a word, they feel moved. That you know that you're actually there for your purpose. I actually started to disseminate all of the things that I've learned through my personal development workshops all the things that I've spent thousands of dollars for, traveled all around the world to go check out and learn to become a different person off stage. And I've taken the, the tools and techniques as a performer, 
uh, my experience being a performer on stage, expressing myself, using my voice, using my body as a dancer. And I've put it together. And I realized that there's five very simple techniques. M, your motivation. O, being open. V, having a vision and direction of where you want to go. E, your emotional expression, whether happy or sad, you're truly expressing that. And S, your self-reflection, looking back at all the things that you've done to seeing the things that you want to change or keep. This is a five-step process that I do daily. I, I, I can't even remember a time I haven't stopped thinking about, you know, what do I want in life? Am I moving towards it? Am I experiencing the emotional breakthrough that is available in this moment? Because we know at the edge of our comfort zone, on the other side is going to be the dream we've always wanted. Okay. So I'm inviting 10 people to join me on a six week life performance training program that I've designed called Make Moves. It's going to change your life and I know that for sure because it has definitely changed mine. We're going to come together. We're going to have weekly calls and we're going to learn what it takes to move through our life, taking all of the concepts and then moving it into our life, integrating our minds, our body, and then the spirit within, taking your whole self to every single move that you make. We're going to repattern those old habits of fear, of blocks, of worry and stress into happiness and joy and making you be that pop of spirit that has been waiting to be released and expressed. If you're ready, I want you to click on the link below and tell me why you want to make moves. What's your red ball? What is that passion you want to start taking action on? What are those things that hold you back and what is that vision you want to move towards? Go ahead. It's your move.